Between allegations of racism and sexism, some tech companies clearly have a diversity problem. Now one company says they just might have an algorithm to help fix it. Joining us now is John Bisk, the co-founder and CEO of Entelo. John, thanks very much for being here. Thank you for having me. So you guys already have this recruiting platform for tech companies. How does this new service work? So our service is the first search engine that allows companies to go in and look for people based off of not just the skills and expertise that they have, but also their uh, proclivity or membership in a certain group. So a company could go in and say, we are looking to find more women who are software engineers. So this actually pulls in data from all of your different social profiles to help figure out, are you a woman, are you black, or you know, what kind of minority are you? Is there any concern there from people who are applying for these jobs that you know companies will be looking at things they might not have been looking at otherwise? Yeah, so we have a strong belief, which is that public data is public and private data should stay private. So the only things that we look at are public things that people are putting on the web. So if you said you were a member of a sorority in the past, we might take a guess that you were a woman, and that's something that you've publicly stated. Now one of the concerns, of course, is can this lead to some kind of discrimination? Can people use this to actually weed out women, to weed out minorities? What do you guys do to protect against that? So we've specifically designed the tool to prevent that. So the way that you use IntelliDiversity is you go in and you can run a search for an underrepresented group in your company, but there's no way using the tool to specifically say, we don't want to hire women. Just as it's impossible through the tool. Why do you think this is an issue for the industry in the first place? Because we do see all these stories, not just about how there aren't enough women or how there aren't enough minorities, but also kind of about the bro culture and how sure, it's not always sure, so welcoming sure. when people do get those jobs. Well, this starts early in a company's life cycle. So if you're a young company, you may hire a few software engineers. They're likely to be male just because of the imbalance between men and women in, in engineering. Then they, they bring their friends to the table. Their friends also may happen to be male. Now all of a sudden you've got a team where you've got 20 engineers and they're all guys. Now the question is, as a woman, is that the environment that you want to walk into? For some women it might be, but for a lot of women it's not. So our goal and what where we encourage a lot of companies is to think early about how you can have a more diverse workforce. So about how many companies are you guys working with now and are you bringing in new companies or are these kind of the same clients you were already with? We're bringing in new companies every day. We work with about 130 corporate customers right now. These are companies ranging from some of the fastest growing startups in the world to Fortune 500 companies. And we help them fill uh, a lot of tech roles, but roles really all across the board, a lot of knowledge worker profession, uh, a lot of knowledge worker jobs is what we help them fill. What made you want to do this in the first place? Say that, that you know there is a gap and I want to try to take on the diversity issue. Yeah, well for us it was really just a reflection of what we were hearing from our customers. So a lot of our customers actually told us they would like to be able to use our tool to help them find people that, that met certain criteria. And when we looked at the data, we actually discovered that we could predict using algorithms at, at, with a high degree of accuracy whether people fit that criteria. Alright John, it's a really interesting service. We'll see if it moves the numbers. Thanks for I joining us. I appreciate that. Thanks for having me.